Jonathan Reed, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to run through a new strategy for laying the favourite on the dogs. Um, it's been running a couple of days now, so I'm going to show you how it's set up, why I've set it up like I've set it up, and how much it's made. Stay tuned. To BF Bot Manager, you can see here we've got dogs lay the favourite. It's actually paused at the moment, and I'll explain why that is shortly. But we've got a current profit of twenty-two pounds thirty-two. We've won two hundred and sixty-nine out of four hundred and seven bets or races, which is a strike rate of sixty-six percent. I have read that you would expect, on average, a dog favourite to win thirty-five percent of the time. So that's nigh on bang on. You know, 65%. Um, it's been running about two and a half days now. It's Sunday morning and it's been running since the 11th, um, which was th uh, Thursday afternoon or Friday afternoon. Uh, Thursday afternoon, so about two and a half days. So I've got the bets tab highlighted here. So this is a list of all the bets. And this is the latest one at the top, so this was placed at um, 4.02 a.m. this morning. And it was the fifth consecutive loss. Now, that's why the bot has paused, because I've got it set up to pause if it loses five in a row. And in the two and a half days, this is the first time it's lost five in a row, and that's the five losses there, all in red. Um, but if we go down, this is all the historical bets. And if I go all the way down to the bottom, the 407 bets, you can see the first one was placed on the 11th at about 10 to, well, 5 to 3 in the afternoon. So if I move back to the top of the list and look at the latest few bets, I'll explain what the bot's actually doing. So basically it's laying um, against the favourite to win the race. So if you've got the the favourite dog, we're saying that dog won't win. And basically placing a 10 pence bet to say that dog won't win. So if the favourite doesn't win, then we win 10 pence. Whereas if the favourite does win, then we lose um, whatever the odds are multiplied by our 10 pence minus our 10 pence stake. So in this case, it was 1.8. We put 10 pence on it and we lost 8 pence. Um, obviously... Um, it depends on the odds how much you do lose. If you win, you only ever win the 10 pence unless you're in recovery mode. Um, but like I say, it depends on the odds. So the maximum odds I'm going to is 4, 4.0. So that's the most we can lose. You can see that uh, there's a 3.1 there. There's a 3.15 there. Um, if I go further down, there's a 3.85. We put 10 pence on that 3.85 bet and we lost 29 pence. So if we lost a four, if a four point zero bet, then the most we would lose is thirty pence on the first um, race, or the first losing bet. So that's the idea behind it. And then I obviously then um, I want to pause the strategy if there's too many losing bets because I don't want to lose too much money, and I wanted to pause after five. And I'm going to show you now why I set it to five. So if I just jump onto this screen here, this will show you in a bit more detail um, how I've broken it down and the um, amounts involved on consecutive losing bets. This is a worst case scenario. So because we can actually put a bet on at 4.0, a lay bet, um, the worst case scenario is losing five bets in a row, all at 4.0. The chances of that happening are remote absolutely remote i can't even see it ever happening um, you will lose five bets in a row i've proven that here um it's took two and a half days to do so and we've made 22 pounds profit well we've probably made about 26 or 27 pounds profit minus these five bets that actually then lost so we've lost the five bets it's paused the strategy and we're still 22 pounds in profit and that's what i want to uh, monitor so the reason i've done five bets is because that's the maximum you can lose on five consecutive bets at 4.0 is 102 pounds and that should hopefully be covered by the money that's been um, built up in here 
However, the reality is you're not going to win anywhere near, sorry, you're not going to lose anywhere near £102. Obviously, if all five bets were 4.0, and you can see here that I'm not the nowhere near, although I think this one is pretty low, um, you would lose 30 pence on the first bet, you'd lose £1.20 on the second, because on the second bet you'd be placing a 40 pence bet to try and recover the 30 pence plus the 10 pence stake. Once you'd lost the £1.20, you'd then be placing a £1.40 bet, which is your £1.20 loss plus your um, 40 pence stake from the previous bet, and so forth and so forth. So you end up on the fifth bet, you would lose £76.80, which is a total of £102.30. However, having said that, what I did after 300 bets, I know it's up to 400 now, but after 300 bets, I added up all the odds and divided them by 300 just to get an average. And the average turned out at 2.57. So when you plug those numbers in, 2.57, you're only actually looking at losing £11.26 because, because the odds are so much lower and um, the losses are so much lower as well. And you can see there, compared to the first table, I showed that the fifth bet would only lose you £6.94. Add all those five bets up and you've lost £11.26. But again, that's assuming that every single odds the five losing bets was two pound uh, two point five seven, which we know there won't be, but that's the average of the first three hundred bets. So I hope that makes sense. So then applying these numbers to what actually happened in real life here, um, you can see the average is eleven pounds twenty six. These five transactions here losses only add up to um, four pounds fifty eight which is a lot lower than the average of £11.26. And that's because we've got a few low-valued odds here. We've got a 1.51, which is really low. Which, you know, that's the fifth bet there. We've only lost £1.58 on the fifth bet instead of £6.94, even though we put £3.10 on because it was um, odds on to win the race, which it obviously, obviously did win. Um, and the odds themselves, if you add those odds up, the five odds on the bets and divide those by five, it comes to 1.87, which again is a lot lower. The average is 1.87, which is a lot lower than the 2.57. So that's the numbers, and that's why I went for five bets. I'm happy enough losing the £11 because we've already had 26 in there, as long as it doesn't happen all the time. Hopefully they'll be spread out over a number of days where we can build this profit up and then take a small loss when we do lose five in a row. Hopefully it'll never be anywhere near the £102, but I'm going to continue. The reason I stopped it at five as well, so I could have a little look at the numbers and think about what I wanted to do. But all I'm going to do now really is just switch it back on. It'll start from scratch again. I'll just reset it and set it going again. It'll start from scratch. Um, the idea being is if I do lose too much or if I do want to risk a bit more, I can up it to six or I can up it to seven or eight and, and I'll just redo this table and plug the numbers in. Obviously this one here looks scary and um, you don't want to be losing £102 but to be honest, I can't, I can't see that ever happening. I don't want to see it ever ever but it, it's going to be so unlikely. Um, looking at the odds that the dogs are getting on, I mean, the dog, when you place a favourite on a dog race is never normally over four anyway, um, and it's normally quite a bit less, but we'll wait and see. I did notice as well, obviously, this um, failed overnight on five consecutives, and that was Australian and New Zealand races, so that's something to bear in mind as well. I'm running this across the board, I'm not taking any countries into consideration. I'm running it 24-7 basically so we can maximise the number of races we get on and hopefully therefore maximise the profits. Okay, so I'm hoping that explains um, everything about the Lay the Favourite. If you do have any questions, please put them in the comments or if you would do something really interesting as well, if you, if you would do something different, I'm happy to um, take that into consideration as well. In the meantime, I'm going to turn this back on. I'm not sure if I just unpause it or if I need to restart it. I think I probably need to restart it, otherwise um, it'll just carry on. It'll just stay paused because it's hit its fifth and it won't reset. So I think I need to restart it, at which point I'll lose my 
I'll bank my 22, 32 profit. So I'm just going to do that now. Um, because what it does, it removes all bets out of your list as well, which is another reason why I actually pause them. So I can have a look at the history and see what went on. Um, you can see along here on the right, that's bank the 22, 32 as all time profit and loss. And it's, it's reset it back to zero. So what we'll do now is we'll, we'll start banking this up and see uh, how far we get before we hit another five consecutive losses. You can see it's already matched another one. Uh, there's just so many Greyhound races that are absolutely constant, especially if you use Australia and uh, New Zealand and, and the US. Um, so that one's just laid there at a price of 2.62 10p, so it's just started again. So we'll see if we can get another two and a half days out of it and another 20 odd pounds profit, I'll be happy because that's, like I say, that's um, 10 pound a day, which is 300 pound a month, which I'll not be complaining that if it continues. If not, we'll, we'll have a look at some other numbers and, and I'll be back in future videos to show you how this, they're the favourite. Um, strategies getting on and how it has it if it's doing well or if it's not doing well okay i hope you've enjoyed it thanks for watching cheers now bye